Oh boy, do I have an amazing print for you folks this week. With the ability to print practically anything I want and limited only by my imagination or the ability to find an actual thing to print, my nerdy side has gone to 11. This week's print comes from one of my all-time favorite characters in one of my all-time favorite video games, Jedi General Revan's lightsaber from Knights of the Old Republic. This was created by Omen74 over on Thingiverse.com, and if you'd like to check it out for yourselves, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm going to use gray PLA by Hatchbox to print this model. I want to leave it kind of a flat tone because I think I might want to paint it sometime down the line. Let's go ahead and open up Cura and check out the settings I'm going to use. Now that we're in Cura, let's go ahead and get our files loaded up as usual. I'm going to go ahead and use these two models for the whole thing. These are going to be the same settings I used on the first video, so we'll just briefly go over them. I'm using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I'm going to have an initial layer height of 0.12 millimeters. I'm going to use three perimeters to create a 1.2 millimeter wall thickness. For this one, I'm going to go a little higher with a 10% infill using the gyroid infill pattern. This material runs a little cooler than most of my other ones, so I'm going to run at 190 degrees Celsius. I am going to use the heated bed. My speed stays the same at 40 millimeters per second, and everything else stays the same. Nothing here that looks like it needs any kind of support. Build plate, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a skirt that looks like there's plenty of space there for it to attach to. All right, we'll go ahead and save it and set it off to the printer. Both files are sliced and ready to go. One of the beautiful parts of this design is there's no need for supports, which I always like. This keeps things very clean and it makes it very easy to work with. Let's go ahead and take a look at the time lapse and see how it prints. Wait, my first lightsaber print and hot damn is it gorgeous. I did accidentally drop it though shortly after putting it together and I kind of chipped off one of the ends. It's not that bad. Oh, man, this model, look at it. It's amazing. The detail is good. The artist did a fantastic job taking something from a video game and creating this object that can be printed out in real life. I absolutely love it, and it fits so well in my hands. Yeah, it's kind of a little fragile as I explained after dropping it and breaking off that little piece. But overall, I am very happy with the way that this lightsaber turned out. I did print this neat little display stand for it, and it fits perfect. I think this is going to be a good piece for my new collection. What do you guys think? I was so excited about Revan's lightsaber, I decided to print another little print. I found the bust of Revan himself on Thingiverse.com and decided to print him out. I went ahead and used a blue PLA by Hatchbox and gave this a quick little print. It's got a lot of detail in it, I don't think it needs support. Let's jump into the Cura settings, do a quick setup, and let's get this thing printing. Alright, now that Cura is open, let's go ahead and get the file loaded. All right, there it is. Now I'm going to use the same settings I used last week with the sailboat. I'm going to use my 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I'm going to use a 0.12 millimeter layer height. I'm going to use two, or excuse me, I'm going to use a 1.2 millimeter wall thickness, which is three wall lines. I'm going to do a 5% infill with this gyroid infill pattern. I'm going to drop this to 190 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna leave the build plate temp the same. My speed is gonna be 40 millimeters per second. Travel and cooling is left at default. I'm not going to use any support for this. And I'm gonna go ahead and change uh, my build plate from brim to a skirt. All right, it's got a nice big surface right there for it to stick to the glass. Uh, everything else is left at default. Let's go ahead and prep our file for printing. All right. 
Let's go ahead and turn this over to our layer view and we'll uh, take a quick look at the print and make sure there's no objects in the way, no holes, and no areas that are gonna print in the middle of the air. I do see one here, his chin might cause a problem. If we take a look right here, it might print in thin air. It's just a layer to, I'm not really too worried about, not enough to put support in. I think it'll print without any issues. Go ahead and save our file, and we're good to go. Let's send this off for printing. There it is. Quite easy, it was pretty quick. It's a beautiful print and I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. There was a little bit of debris right there under the chin, but nothing that couldn't be cleaned up rather easy. I highly recommend exploring thingiverse.com and mymini-factory.com if you're interested in anything that I print. These websites are filled with an endless supply of gadgets, gizmos, toys, and everything a tinkerer would want. If any of you are interested in anything in this video, please check out the links below. None of them are affiliate links and I make no money from them. They are there to help encourage more people get into the world of 3D printing. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon to receive notifications of my new videos. Next week, we're going to combine my wife's photography with my 3D printing and output a 3D picture called a lithophane. But until next time,